hello guys in this video let's learn about the industrial revolution firstly let's begin with what is meant by the term industrial revolution and then we'll see factors favorable in england for industrial development uh, then the industries that's affected by the revolution textile industry iron and coal industry and improvements in means of transport and changes that occurred in navigation and lastly the results of industrial revolution the industries in britain underwent great changes during the second half of the 18th century and the first half of the 19th century during these decades british industries underwent many remarkable changes and that's why the term industrial revolution is applied before the industrial revolution goods were produced in limited quantities by human hands in the house of the workers but after the revolution goods were produced in large quantities by machines in factories and that's why the changes occurred fundamentally and it created a drastic change in the industrial methods of england britain was the first country to start industrial revolution than any other european countries because of the political and financial stability that britain had we know that england involved in most of the wars that happened in 18th century but they were all fought outside on the continent the reason behind england's initiation of wars is because England was free from foreign invasion and also it contributes to industrial development of the country. The trading companies around Britain accumulated with heavy profits and all that money is being invested in industry. Heavy amount of profits were made from religious motives by people like puritans. The reason behind Britain's profits and development is because Britain's geographical position was peculiarly suitable for world trade. Every part of the world accessed Britain's ship. Britain's coastline offered excellent harbors and uh, Britain's navigable rivers offered means of internal communication. Britain's climate also supported and promoted the habits of industries. Natural resources like coal and iron were abundant. the factors like climatic changes and transport develops the textile industry too before the industrial revolution textile work was done in the cottages by people who were also engaged in agriculture the work in cottage industry was done by hand or with the help of hand work implements in cottage textile work men women and children were engaged Works like carding was undertaken by children and the straight end fibers of wool or cotton were spun into and continuously yarned by women weaving on a hand loom was done by men the supplementary process like dyeing bleaching fulling printing were all carried by the clothier this system of hand work witnessed many defects worst defect was experienced in production because the handwork happening was very slow and it could not meet the demand for english textile goods this is the reason the textile industry required a change in the course of time a series of inventions brought an entire transformation of the textile industry the first mechanical invention was the flying shuttle which was invented by john key in the year 1733 The mechanism of flying shuttle enabled clothes of any width to be made by a single weaver and also doubled the pace at which the weaving could be done. To keep the weavers engaged, the weavers had to be supplied with a sufficient quantity of yarn, yarn meaning thread. Therefore, attention turned to the question of spinning. In the year 1764 a carpenter named James Hargreaves he made the spinning jenny which speeded up the making of yarn In 1769 a better machine was invented by Richard Arkwright he is a barber Arkwright changed his machine to use it with water power 
and so the machine is called to be as water frame. Great advantage of this machine was that it produced stronger yarn. In the year 1779, Samuel Crompton, he combined the two machines, that is Jenny and water frame. This machine results in producing yarn much thinner and stronger. Next machine was introduced by Edward Cartwright. Edward Cartwright invented a power loom in the year 1785 and power loom helped to increase the speed of weaving. Let's see the development in iron industry. By the middle of the 18th century, there was an increased use of iron. In the year 1779, the world's first iron bridge was made, spanning the river Severn. The great development in the iron and coal industry took place in the early 19th century. Inventions connected with iron and coal trade was invented by Newcomen and James Watt. In the year 1705, Newcomen he made a steam engine to pump water out of coal mines. Later in the year 1763, a young mathematical instrument maker named James Watt, he perfected the steam engine. Let us now see the revolution that took place with means of transport. Before the revolution, there was no effective highway authority and the roads were in very bad condition. After the industrial revolution, when goods were produced on a large scale, the need was felt for transporting goods to cities and seaports. After 1750, hundreds of road acts were passed and many turnpike formed, turnpike meaning toll gate. John McAdam was a Scottish civil engineer and road builder. He was the inventor of macadamization. From McAdam, Britain learned the art of road draining and perfected the surface of the road. As a result of road perfection, in the year 1840, there were 22,000 miles of good turnpike roads in England with nearly 8,000 toll gates. Now, let's see the improvement in the internal transportation of England. The inland navigation and improvement of roads, it opened up the way for industrial changes inside the towns. The first half of the 18th century deepened with navigable rivers and the second half of the century saw the construction of new artificial waterways. Francis Egerton, he is the Duke of Bridgewater and he is also known as the father of inland navigation. He connected his colonies with Manchester by canal. The canal movement began rapidly in the industrial region of South Yorkshire and Western Midlands and soon it spread it over the whole country. Transports like canals and toll gate roads, it stimulated the exchanges of goods inside the England and this fastened up the growth of overseas trade. George Stevenson, he invented the first locomotive and the first railway line between Stockton and Darlington in the year 1825. Liverpool and Manchester were linked by railway in the year 1830. London and Birmingham linked in the year 1838. Steam was also used for water transport. Since that time, there has been remarkable progress in all matters connected with ocean navigation. Let us now see the result of industrial revolution. The industrial revolution results with the increased population. It is estimated that in the year 1710, the population of England was 5.5 million, but in the year 1750, it increased to 6 million. During the next 50 years, there was an increase of 50% population. Thus, the census of 1801 revealed a population of 9 million. This was again doubled by 1851 and doubled again by 1901. Many new industrial towns like Shelfield, Birmingham and Manchester and Leeds developed rapidly. Many people in and around England clustered together in these smoky towns and that leads to many kinds of disease due to lack of sanitation.
Industrial Revolution also supported England in a larger way. In the first place, England became the workshop of the world. The production of goods on a large scale paved the way for fall in prices and this led to increased demand for goods and in the end, there was employment for more people. Hope this video helped you to know about the Industrial Revolution that happened in England. For more interesting videos, start following us by leaving your subscriptions. Thank you.